Thank you for joining us today on the channel. My name is Christine Elizabeth and joining me today is Karen Carnes. She has such a magnificent story of overcoming for herself. Um, in the past, this channel has been fully devoted and dedicated and will always originate from uh, the place of helping people with PNES. But we don't want to stop there because as I learned in my own journey, PNES is one form of functional neurological disorder a conversion disorder. So uh, Karen also has a story of overcoming her own FND. And she is one of our coaches at Transfer Out Coaching. So if you want to go ahead and check out transferoutcoaching.com, go to the about who we are and check out her bio. Karen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for sharing your, your story, your experience, and thank you for taking the pain that you've gone through and, um, letting God use that to, to bring encouragement and hope and strength to other people. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited to be able to help others with what God has brought me through. Yes, yes. Would you mind sharing a little bit about your journey? Absolutely. Um, so I think it probably started around the time I was 11. Um, I started getting hives just on my upper back. <clears throat> excuse me, um, and just my chest whenever I would get in the water. Mm -hmm. And then fast forward to when I was about 19, I started having a lot of stomach issues, um, brought me to the emergency room one night, just could not eat anything without pain. Um, there was burning, there was just, everything was just uncomfortable. Um, doctors ran all sorts of tests and couldn't figure out anything that was wrong with me. Um, they just sent me home and I tried to move forward. Um, and then to sophomore year of college. So a few years later, I, um, started breaking out into hives every time I would eat anything all over my legs. And then it eventually went to my arm, my stomach, my neck. I would start having trouble breathing again, ended up in the emergency room, um, and they thought it was some sort of allergic reaction. They gave me some medication, stopped the hives, um, but then referred me to a specialist, which I didn't go to. Um, my sister referred me to a chiropractor. So I figured, try that out. He explained to me that um, basically because of how my body was handling stress, there was, it was like a fight or flight mode. There was something in me that just wasn't connecting. So when I would eat, it would try and escape um, out through my skin, which would cause the hives. So he started adjusting me once a month. Every four weeks, um, he would just adjust me and I could go back to eating at whatever I wanted to. Um, I missed a moment around week six. It would really start being very obvious. I would start having trouble breathing again. Um, and just a lot of back pain. Um, so I met with him once a month for seven years and then moved to Florida um, and got connected with Whole Family Healthcare where um, I started doing acupuncture as well as um, massage therapy. And I, they had me do a, um, a food sensitivity test right away. A lot of things came back on that. And so I had to completely change my lifestyle with what I was eating. I went vegan, I went sugar-free, I went, you know, anything I was eating, I basically had to cut out. Um, so I did that um, and that was supposed to be a quick 30 day plan and my body just wasn't healing as we wanted it to. Mm -hmm. So, um, I was, I'd been meeting with one lady and she referred me, um, to then meet with Karen Kelly, who, um, diagnosed me with, um, functional neurological disorder, um, after finding out that there had just been some trauma in my childhood that I had never properly dealt with. So she referred me then to meet with you and, um, the first session you know, we dove right in and went into just a memory that we invited God into and, um, you know, just healed that memory where we invited God into it. And 
And so instead of like, when I think of that now, instead of reliving the trauma, I get up and I walk to Jesus. And that threw us into a whole spiral of events um, where I was just um, finding out trauma that I just, things that never, mm. I never were bothersome, things that I didn't realize I needed to deal with. Um, and just going through that process, I've been able to alleviate the back pain and go back to eating basically everything that I was craving. Um, and I feel healthier now than I have in wow. the last life. <laughs> yes, yes. It's amazing because what you, the concept of what you're talking about or what you're referencing is um, we believe that God is with us all the time. He's Emmanuel, God with us, which means that even in our traumas, he was present, he was with us. And so connecting with him during our trauma is, is just the better way to go because he's caring, he's nurturing, he can tell us. I mean, he's, he's, he's suffering with us basically you know he, he doesn't create robots and that's one of those big big problems that a lot of people have is like well if he was there why didn't he stop it you know it's like well we get into this whole free will argument about um you know do you want to be a robot <laughs> oh, yeah you want to have free will so right. um you know that's a hard concept for a lot of people to grasp but if you understand the basis that god is love and um that he would never do anything that uh, for our destruction. Um, we go through hard times and sometimes we go through it at his hands because he loves us and he knows that we need a hard event uh, in order to overcome. I mean, our life you know, on earth isn't about comfort. So I mean, it's just, it's a very um, freeing opportunity. And Karen, because she's a believer, you know, we went this approach with transfer out coaching. We, if you are a believer, you're not a believer, you know, we meet you where you're at and it's not to convert you. It has nothing to do with that because we have tools and resources um, for anybody. And they're, they're the same principles that work in both ways. So it's just, we go a different route, you know, different routes to go. So Karen, thank you for sharing that. And first of all, I didn't know that last bit that you were able to, because last time we met, um, there were still certain things that you can eat. So I'm so excited to hear that you know, your diet has all but returned. And that is so powerful. I mean, you did seven years with the chiropractor and yes, it kept it at bay, um, but it was only treating it. it. There was no actual healing of that. Right. And I, I, that's something that, you know, at Transfer Out Coaching and just personally, we believe that it's about healing. We can't treat something and leave it existing. I mean, it's like taking medication for something that you can remedy, you know, yourself, like for your whole life, taking medication that might cause you harm. But if you change a few things, you know, it will heal itself. I, mean, I just, we're big proponents of that. So I'm just, I'm really grateful. Um, it was so exciting. So tell me a little bit, bit about your schooling. Share with everybody about that. Yeah, so I graduated with my bachelor's degree in biblical counseling. Um, learned a lot of great, fantastic tools. Um, I mean, there's really, you know, it's a great way to connect with people. Um, I do say after, um, you know, after learning just this unique approach that we do here, um, I think, you know, just the different perspectives and just the different tools that, you know, I've learned, I would say like, I'd prefer this method, um, but the education I got and just yeah. the, you know, I got to really dig into God's word and just the unique way was really, I think, beneficial for, you know, where I am today and just how God is using me now. Hmm. And why did you go into that, if I may ask? Yeah, I've always just had this huge desire to help people. Um, I wanted to study counseling just to connect with people and um, just help them in a bigger way. It's just mm -hmm. always, and even before I realized where I was going to be today, um, or even part of my story that I had no idea that God wanted to use, um, I just, you know, underlined, I always wanted to help people and mm -hmm. just help them heal and see God and um, just find just find a better way to live. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you are so inspiring. So with Co Transfer Out Coaching, 
Um, obviously, you have to go through the coaching yourself. But then one of my favorite things for myself, even though, you know, being prepared for this, it's just like in your head, you know, like, all right, you know, some stuff is going to come up. And that's the whole thing is our whole journey. It's not about like, oh, okay, we overcame, you know, highs and stomach issues and or seizures. And now our life is great. It's actually <laughs> about learning the tools because life is hard. It's yes. about learning those tools and applying them and having people around you who are strong and who um, you're strong when you are weak and weak when they need you. I mean, so it's just, it's just about a whole different type of life. It's not just about like, I'm going to overcome this. It's like, no, I'm going to learn how to be a warrior. I'm going to learn how to be an overcomer and stay an overcomer. That's what we do. So, and I'm so grateful because like I was saying, and, uh, what, like I was saying was that in order to be a coach with transfer out coaching, you go through the coaching, you get your own healing, and um, then you go through the training. And the final steps are that the 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 uh, coach trainee gets to coach me, <laughs> <laughs> which I love the sound that Karen made the first time I said that. What she said? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love that sound. She cracks me up. So. She ever now again pulls that out. <laughs> um, but it was so great um, having her coach me and just taking me because, again, we're all on a journey. Just because you have overcome some really big obstacles doesn't mean that you're not going to have to go back and look at things later on. I mean, we're, we're fairly young and I don't know when I'm going to die. You don't know when you're going to die. But just let's use standard if we're very healthy, you know, we'll get into our 80s, even maybe 90s. So, uh, you know, where we are in our 30s and 40s, we need those skills and tools to get us to that place successfully. And along the way, we're going to have those opportunities to dig up more stuff that we didn't know or be faced with a new challenge that we weren't equipped for because this is a growth path. Our life is not a stagnancy. It is not about stagnancy. It's about growing with the flow. So, um, so I, I was so encouraged. Karen was just absolutely gentle and wonderful. And, uh, I mean, and I did, I got my own healing for, for a particular area that I had, uh, that was coming up and, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm so grateful to have her on my team as my friends. Um, I'm so grateful that she's one of my iron sharpeners, because as I say to people all the time, if you don't have people in your corner who are challenging you, who are encouraging you, who are lifting you up and who are being your cheerleader. Now, that doesn't mean that they're always going to tell you things they like, because we have to tell each other the truth and tell them the truth and love very specifically, um, because that's going to challenge us. We want to be challenged. So if you don't have those people start collecting those people start seeing you know who who really challenges you to be a better the best version of you and just invest in that relationship and there's so many resources and books um i've mentioned before in the channel safe people and boundaries that's a really good foundation of, of relationship building karen is was just like so amazing every time i mentioned a book she went out and got and read it i was like hmm i think you might be coaching material <laughs> So I was just so encouraged um, by who I am. I'm just so encouraged by who you are, your journey and uh, your your vulnerability to share your story with other people and and to not hide it away. I mean, because that's really what it is, is it's imperfect people who are on the same journey as you, who are willing to come along you and with you uh, with some skills and tools that they learn to overcome themselves. And to just be there with you, to um, empower you, to give you resources and tools, because that's what we want. We want to not keep you in coaching forever and ever and ever. We want to empower you so that you don't need us. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole point, is that we give you the tools, we give you the resources, we, um, we empower you with, with different obstacles, um, because we're going to challenge you. So I'm just so honored and grateful to have you, um, like I said, in my life. So, and thank you for coming on the channel. I, I know that this is, you know, like super exciting, <laughs> but some of you sometimes <laughs> nerve wracking. So I just appreciate you just conquering, you know, your, any kind of anxiety for that. 
to come on and share this because your struggle, your hope, and your journey has, has really been beautiful and has blossomed. And now it's spreading to other people and, and putting seeds out there to, to grow more hope and encouragement. So thank you to you. And uh, thank, you. thank you to the viewers. Uh, we're just so grateful that you watched. I, I encourage you, um, if you are on your own journey, watch more videos from the channel because a lot of the, the resources that are on the channel are things that we do in coaching our, ourselves with our clients. So if you wanna get some free resources, dig in. There is so much for you to delve into and there are new videos every Wednesday, usually uh, released in the evening. So if you like this video, if you like the channel, we'd love for your support. Please hit the bell icon to subscribe and uh, let you know when the new content is out. And if you are, you feel connected and want to connect with Karen, you can go to the website transferoutcoaching.com, uh, click on the who we are, and there is a button under Karen's picture with her uh, that will go to her email. So if you want to connect to Karen, I encourage you to do so. Thank you and be well, everyone.